Point number one is reconciliation involves risk. Jacob, to be present, took a risk. When Esau came running up to him, Jacob stayed and didn't turn, run away, involved risk. And even if maybe he perceived Esau had other ulterior motives, he, he stood there and his family was made vulnerable to Esau by him introducing them in his presence. Here is my wives and my children. And so in seeking reconciliation with someone, we open ourselves to receive harm. Because the person we seek to reconcile with doesn't always desire to reconcile with us. We might open ourselves to hurt. Jacob here faced his brother who absolutely wanted to kill him and given the opportunity 20 years earlier, probably would have. And to to open up into a hug, right? When you hug somebody, how vulnerable are you? Man, I mean, if someone wanted to slip a knife in there, I'm twisted, I know. But he exposed his ribs, he exposed his his, his organs, his vital organs, and, and hugging his brother. He took risk because he desired that reconciliation. And then he brings his wives and his children to be brought to to be introduced to Esau. Risk. Risk is vulnerability. So when, when we seek to restore friendly relations, we will open ourselves to a potential greater hurt. But to pursue real, authentic restoration of a relationship, we must make ourselves vulnerable to be hurt further. 